Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's take a look at rule number 10. What if a matrix has a row of zeros? The rule says then that the determinant of that matrix will equal zero. Again, we have a two by two matrix with one row of zeros and a three by three matrix with one row of zeros. Let's go ahead and take the determinant of both of those matrices to see if they both equal zero. Starting with the easy one, with A, Let's take the determinant of the matrix A, which is equal to this, 3, 5, 0, and 0. And again, with the rule, you multiply those two diagonals minus those two diagonals. So we end up with 3 times 0 minus 5 times 0. This is 0 minus 0 equals 0. That was easy. Yes, indeed. The rule is indeed complied with. Now let's go ahead and do matrix B. We find the uh, determinant of matrix B, and that gives us the following, 1, uh, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 4, 5, 6. And here we take the first element, 1, times, now when we take this one here, then this row disappears, that row column disappears, so you're just left with these four elements, and then of course that looks like a 2 by 2 matrix with a row of zeros. And you get the same result, you get 0, times 6 minus 0 times 5. And of course you can see that is equal to 0. Now we'll take the next element. We now get minus 2 because the signs alternate times. And here you get rid of this row and that column. Again you have those four elements. One of the rows again is 0. So you get 0 times 6 minus 0 times 4. And again this will equal 0. And finally, you take this element right here, 3, plus 3 times. You get, of, get rid of this row and this column. You end up with those four elements. Again, you multiply these together minus those. You end up with 0 times 5 minus 0 times 4. And again, that's equal to 0. So you can see here that this also equals 0. And notice that whenever you have a complete rows of zero in any matrix, then when you take the determinant of that matrix, you will end up with a zero result. And that's the rule.